Hi guys, welcome back to this episode of DB Trust and in today's episode, I'll be reviewing Chariot BMW 21 AI. Let's dive straight to this video right now. Alright then, so here is like the BMW 21 AI from Chariot itself. So overall, first impression wise, there isn't any obvious damage to this car itself other than it being very dirty on the rim itself. So basically, this is the 21 AI if you guys didn't know already. Previously, I already reviewed a 216 AI, so if you guys want to check out that video, I will leave it at the end of this video itself. So do click on that video if you want to know more about this car, about itself. So yeah, basically, overall, steering wise, not that bad. There isn't obvious, any obvious damage I can notice from this vehicle itself which is also a good thing uh, but if you guys didn't know the 216i is technically the 7 seater version of this car right here itself so the 218i is basically the shorter hatchback version of it itself so basically I won't be going too in depth about this the vehicle itself so if you guys want to check it out do turn on the video like what I mentioned just now do turn on the video at the end of that video this video itself so without further ado let me just show you guys the chunk space before I dive towards the rear and as well as the front seat so Let's let me just show you guys the trunk space right oh, yeah. now. So basically, that says the trunk. Then just need to locate the um, the. Let's just write down below the BMW emblem. Press on it, and it will just basically. Oh, holy shit! Okay, yeah. Basically, it got hydraulic struck. So hence, you saw I was being pushed by the hydraulic struck just now. So, but no biddy. And also, here is just the trunk space for the. Let me just step right back. So yeah, basically, this is how the trunk space look like for the two one eight i. So so basically, I just put up on the screen right here. This is the trunk capacity for the 218i instead so yeah basically when the wheel what do you get well you get some simple amenities that you get for this bmw itself so basically some small toy pocket right here same for the other side with this net right here weird that the other side doesn't have it but this side has but uh and then that you got some outage right here to plug your thing into and you got this right here which you can fold down the rear seat for more space itself but the process to do that is very very simple itself so basically just need to unlatch this thing right here itself right here this will drop down and then you remove this part but just need to pull on this and the seat will just basically drop itself so basically now it's already unlatched itself and you can just push forward itself okay let me see what I can do just like that same for the other side just need to put on this lever just like that and you just need to remove this partial shelf right here but basically just remove this partial shelf and you got even more cargo space in this 2.8i itself so yeah uh, right down below what do you get well you get uh, this storage space right here to put the shelf if you do not want it to be displayed or so yeah and that that is all for this uh the cargo space for the 218i itself so let me just let this back on one side the other side right here so and just pull back the mat itself that doesn't obstruct it so then just need to pull this down oh yeah sorry not put it down so basically there's this button right down below you can just press on it and you'll just quickly tweet it get away you just close it just like that so yeah so yeah and unfortunately i don't think you have to just put this up manually itself so yeah let me just put this back up and i'll show you guys the rear seat for the 218i all right then uh before i jump to the rear seat itself i managed to put the two seat on the left hand side up so basically the process to do that is basically usually once you put the seat back up manually by hand it will latch at this position wise to go back onto that position wise you guys have to pull on this strap right here which is just right beside the iso fixing point which you can just latch onto your baby seat here if, or child seat if you have and basically for this back part right here look at just need to pull on this right here and just lean back according to the position and once you got the position wise just let go and it will just lock in position just like that itself so now 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 let me just jump right straight into the rear of the 218i and basically this is my front driving position right now you're looking at so overall i think so far first impression wise the 218i that's the rear if i remember correctly the 216i and the 216i the center seating is not bad because it's quite spacious itself like, which i think the main part that most people will be in itself so that's a good thing so basically uh legroom wise basically got almost like two or oh, sorry about one and a half 
this of uh, late rumors which is not bad at all so yeah and head rumors is also not bad either trust so you guys can see my head rumors i almost got about one and quarter of head rumors so not bad not bad at all so yeah uh, moving on, what else do you get in the rear itself? Well, you get some storage pocket right here to put your stuff if you want to. If not, you can always put small stuff right here itself. On top here as well. Or put your small stuff right here. But not to sure what you put here at all. So, yeah. Uh, but moving on, what else? Uh, and the same for the passenger side as well. Of course, they get the same thing as well, which is a lovely thing in this BMW 216... 218i, sorry. But uh, you also get grab hand... Uh, grab hook which is on all four sides of the car right here as you guys can see and you also got a smaller hook right here to hook your hanger or whatever shit that you want to hang right here itself lah. so yeah uh, but moving on what else uh, do you get in this car uh, the last thing that you get in this car is basically the center lighting that will turn on when the car doors are open which is open right now basically you get this light lah. so basically you can turn off the both light on the left right and center or can be turned on when the doors are open but if not you can turn them off by itself or let's say the doors are open you can just press them on either side manually itself so yeah this is just simply amazing itself so yeah uh last but not least you just got some ac vents right at the bottom right here which can be adjusted and you also got the adjustment here to adjust the to open or close the vent itself and right at the bottom you got a socket out here to probably i think this is a 12 volt socket outlet if i'm not wrong that you could plug in so that maybe in the back passenger can also charge their phone as well which is a good thing so one downside that i know for most of the german car manufacturer itself which i have reviewed so far is the transmission tunnel right here which you are looking at unfortunately for this car wise the transmission tunnel is not even not it's not that high compared to the 3 series or the other like the 5 series it's still decent uh, at least at least the gap opening right here as you guys can see is big that i'm able to move over to the center row without any issue or so that's a good thing for this tie itself so right now sitting in center wise i do get a slight elevation bump from the left and right so basically you're sitting in center wise you are slightly closer towards the roof itself uh. so basically right now i'm almost like about i think about the same uh, so but Usually people sitting in center wise won't be the best because if it's full grown size adult side to side left and right sitting beside me then probably you get a bit of squeeze in this car itself but everyone's built differently so the result might vary itself so yeah all right then now let me just show you guys the so basically this is how the dashboard of the 218i look like it's very very similar to the 216i itself so uh basically they just if I'm not wrong, they are on the same production line that were that they are on when they are in production and uh, BMW manufacturing. They share the same component. Everything is the same itself. So, yeah. But um, other than that, I think that's all I say for the race itself. Like. So yeah. Oh yeah. One more thing before I move to the front, which is the for this time wise, it has the center armrest which you could rest your arm on. So basically, this is the same thing which I think I if I remember correctly is on the five series, the three series. And the 2 series, I think based in all the F series generation that I reviewed so far, it has the same thing. Maybe the 1 series doesn't have it, but I could be wrong itself. But uh, basically, you get cup holders, more cup holders in the rear. So basically, if, if the side pockets aren't enough for you guys, you can have 2 more right here itself, which is quite lovely. If not, then you can also have more cubby space right there itself. So, yeah. And that, that is all for the car itself. So basically right now I'll be moving towards the front of the car so let's just jump straight to that and getting out is also isn't a big issue because uh, even though the opening on the bigger uh, I think the seats are also probably they're slight towards the back itself but I could be wrong so yeah but overall still uh, I don't have any trouble getting out at all so yeah so now let me just show you guys the front of the car Alright, before I jump straight into the so just the dashboard itself, let me just show you guys the seat straight away first. So basically the seat, this is your normal BMW seat itself, but for this vehicle itself, it comes with electronic adjusted seat, which could be adjusted. If you guys want to slide forward, you just need to push on this button, and the seat will slide forward, backward, back, just like that. And angle the seat the pitch itself, just need to do this button, and you could probably adjust seat just like that itself so yeah and if this is your own personal car itself you should also technically save it to the memory seat function which 
it is available right here so you guys can see so basically if you guys want to set it like to, to save a seat function just press on set and press one and it will just save the seat accordingly itself so yep now for the steering wheel steering wheel is very very simple because it is very accessible So yeah, see Good. Uh, sorry. The for the steering to adjust the steering wheel is, is very very accessible. It's just cause it's just to to adjust the steering column just right here itself, which you can just press down on that and the steering wheel will drop. And basically, you can just adjust it to according to whatever liking itself. Like. So yeah, to lock it, just slide back right up and it will lock itself in. So yeah right now in the real what do you get in the so basically the some of the components that i won't be going through that in that is like the glove box basically they are the same thing from the 216i and the the 216 the 3 series and probably the 5 series you know the glove box is if i remember correctly they are all the same so not really the much the bigger storage for this car lah. so yeah same for the basically you got another secondary cup holder sorry secondary storage right here which is this part right down below if not there's one more right here and one more right here so but seems like someone spilled a drink or something inside here so, so yeah but um, also this thing can be adjusted only so basically you can dip down just like this then just start a tonic so we think this can be adjusted accordingly itself which is a good thing and this also can be act as your armrest itself so yeah all right then um moving on to the next part which is some of the buttons on the center console itself center console itself uh it's very very simple and easy to understand itself like. so basically you got a handbrake button right down below here so to activate handbrake just need to pull back deactivate it just press forward itself so yep next up we got the some of the shortcut keys itself for the audio itself the main menu wait they basically need to go to the main the main menu of the iDrive itself uh your telephone your back your back key itself and you got an option for thing for the option thing on the car itself so yeah and this is your serial view is this is the mouse if you can call it to adjust the whatever sheet uh the thing on here and you also can adjust it to the left to the right up you know sorry only left and right itself so yeah um moving on you got some of the ac controls vents right here which is very very similar to all the f series bmw that i've reviewed so far already so i'm not going to touch on that but uh you mix up oh uh, there's also a parking sensors park assist button right here itself so basically when you press on that it'll just show you guys the reversing camera it, when the vehicle is not even in, in reverse plus it will also show you the parking sensors around this feature itself so. all right then uh, let me just show you guys the park assist feature which is this button right here itself you have to press that it will show you guys the parking sensors on the car itself and it, oh yeah not touch me if you want you can just press the reversing camera and show you the reversing camera for this car wise if not i can it here so which is the brightness of the screen itself no. basically on all, all this itself so yeah very very good uh it's all right the reversing camera for this car so and you got a mode selector right here to go to sport eco pro or standard itself so yeah right here you got some of the shortcut keys for the entertainment itself and this is the mode to if i'm not this is for the whatever bluetooth radio or whatever thing is programmed to so yeah i can't, be, I can't remember what is it but i'll show you guys later on itself so yeah and this is the fm am band for the radio itself and some of the program thing say to it this and uh, right here you got your volume knob to adjust the volume and one press is it here right here is to turn off the audio itself so yeah right on top you got a hazard light switch and this is to uh this i'll show you guys later on what the, this does but you got your air slide right here to open and close and that's probably it for this side uh moving on next up we got the, the wheel itself. so basically you guys can see the wheel is exactly the same thing as the let me mention all the f-series one f-series bmw during this generation itself share the same thing itself so not really going going too in that about it like. so if you guys want to know more about it like what i said can refer to my 216i re review itself like. so yeah same thing for this itself so basically i'm just going to skip through some of the function itself but basically you got your hazard your indicators right here as well 
uh, as far as your button right here for the auto headlight so sorry auto fog light yeah should be this uh, but I could be wrong because your auto headlight switch are right here itself this if I'm not wrong should be your high beams if I'm not wrong but I could be wrong as well but yeah and indicators and all the necessary things are all here itself basically oh yeah and you got your high beam right here itself so basically to engage high beam you just need to pull back sorry to flash the high beam you just need to pull back to engage it you just push forward itself so yeah Moving on to the other side, you got wiper stock right here itself. So the wipers is very very simple. The main one right here is the, for the front. Rear one is just by this knot right here itself. So yeah. Uh moving on. Next up, uh this is right here you got your start stop button or your auto stop start if you want to turn off itself, which is very very conveniently placed itself. Like. So yeah. Um so basically this is all the buttons for on the steering wheel as well as on the left hand side now we'll be moving to the right hand side itself so basically right hand side you got your uh gauge brightness itself your light switch right here and your front and rear uh front light and that's probably it for the left side and you got a very right here you got a synchro compartment if anyone know about it but basically you can put some stuff here like if if sherry does provide the key itself technically they could put i will probably put the key right here itself so yeah uh, moving on, you've got your OBD port right here for diagnosis itself, right down below there. And right down below there itself, if the camera could focus, you've got your trunk finish button itself. So, yeah. Last but not least, you've got your... Last but not least, you've got some of the switches right here for the windows itself. And this to pin it for rolling down the window itself. This is to fold the mirrors and this is basically this right here on the left so basically right now it's on the left hand side to adjust the mirror on the left all the way to the other side is for the right hand side and center for basically there's no setting for in the center where you don't have to where you can't adjust the mirrors itself so yeah so it basically it's only left or right hand side there's no in the center where you can leave it in the center center to not adjust the mirrors itself so yeah but you got your lock and lock button right here itself and your door with this handle itself so yeah Alright then, uh, now let me just go ahead and start up the car for you guys. So, who want a break and start? So, basically, this is how the car look like when it's turned on. So, basically, uh, you got your fuel gauge right down below and your average fuel consumption thing right down there as well. So, yeah. Uh, now, let me just show you guys the sun visor. So, basically, sun visor, this is how it look like. Once folded down, you got the light will turn, automatically turn on. But if you were to close the shade right here like this, it will just turn off the light. But one thing I have to say about the mirrors is it is extremely small itself, which is not really necessary. I, I feel there's no purpose at all because the mirrors is very, very small itself. So yeah. And the same for the other side as well. So once the mirrors is like oh is revealed, the light will just turn on as well. So yeah. Uh, right in the center right here, what do you get? Well, you get your light switch for the all three lights itself. This is for the left and the driver side passenger side and that's probably it for for this car itself so yeah now let me just show you some last few buttons that I promised to show you guys just now so basically you have to press on this it, it'll just basically it'll just say I think it's the safety function itself uh, so yeah all right uh, let me just show you guys how to pair up this phone to the that one itself so basically you just need to go to uh telephone and bluetooth devices and basically just add new device then just look, just need to find for this and once you find it in your phone setting just click on that and basically just follow the whatever instruction that's on the phone itself and you'll be able to link up your phone to the time for payment itself usually for some manufacturer itself if i'm not wrong like i think the new toyota they'll ask you to download their toyota app which is a little bit inconvenient itself and i think the same for byd no no oppo opel yeah, Opel is also the same thing. The Opel Astra, which I reviewed previously, also had shared the same function itself. Where technically they will ask you to download the their app to for the Bluetooth connectivity, but I think it's not necessary. You can actually just uh, bypass it and just connect it with regular Bluetooth itself. So yeah, but I think other than that, that is probably it for this video itself. If you guys enjoy the video itself, do click the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this. Or uh, click subscribe and see my two other video. And with that, I'll see you guys in my next video.